when I originally thought of a music video for this song, well, I have a tendency to dream big and go overboard. I mean, the first idea I had was explosions and broken down cars and just all the stuff. I realized like, <sighs> okay, Cinda, let's scale it down a bit. <laughs> Two phrases of the song are, what has become of us, we're only into us. So I, I took that idea of, what if each of us in the band, individually, were doing different things with our lives? I did not like the concept at, at first. Um, Cinda and I often have very different visions for things uh, in this band, just for some reason that concept did not click with me. And to be honest with you, now that we've filmed the music video, I can't even tell you what my idea for the music video was. Nick is the smartest person in the band, so I feel like Nick would be the one to have the most information coming at him. So that's why we put Nick in the scenario of just having tons of different computer screens and phones around him. I thought that Sean, would be very good doomsday prepper type person, afraid of the world, afraid of people. And I thought for myself that I could be very obsessed with living longer and healthy, which I'm very into health. Can't say I want to live forever though. The music video was quite a whirlwind and getting it all done really the week before Christmas and then after Christmas piecing everything together from mixing the song to editing the music video to planning the release it was two weeks of just go 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 the storage space was a little bit more difficult they seemed to say they were holding the room and then they gave the room away so the next time I thought okay whatever day we decide that we're filming Two days before I run out the room, the next day I decorate the whole thing, and then the third day we shoot. So that no one can accidentally give away our storage space. So that's what we did. It was so much fun to kind of go in and, and make it look like we hadn't been in this rehearsal space for quite some time. You know, playing around with fake spider webs and, and getting like dried up leaves and just making it look dirty, abandoned and making it look like something other than uh, a concrete room was really fun. My favorite part was definitely uh, coming up to Sean's uh, door uh, as he was uh, living in his bunker and uh, <laughs> being separated from the group a little bit so that you know you're just shouting like action at me and it meant I could do really ridiculous things uh, and you could not stop me. <laughs> so there, I'm sure that unless you've deleted them by now there are a lot of really bizarre outtakes for that particular uh, part of the music video. I felt really bad for Nick uh, during that filming because I know that he was Slowly throughout the day, he progressed from feeling pretty good to feeling pretty bad. I was I was just starting a really terrible illness, like uh, like the night before I felt fine, and even starting that day, I was feeling okay. But through the day of shooting that music video, I realized I was getting really ill, and um, which was kind of scary because I you know I was I had other work I was doing that week and like I was about to get ready to go on a trip to China at the end of the week and so getting super sick that day was really inconvenient but um, you know you have to make do you know that was the time that we could get together and make it happen. I don't know why everybody thought that I should be the one who was the doomsday prepper. I don't know if that says something about my personality, this, my personality, like I want to be isolated, but I, I kind of like getting the, uh, getting the ax and, and carrying the firewood. That was kind of funny. The one thing I did not like about my shots though, is that I didn't get to shave. Shooting Cinda was was very fun because she got to she got to pamper herself, put on a nice uh, mud facial mask. I think I had an allergy to that because my face was burning the whole time. It was not cool. 
I definitely also got sick from doing all that staying up late and working too hard. I learned my lesson. Try to get things done earlier. Don't wait till the last minute. Not that we were waiting to the last minute. Uh, losing a bass player then also threw a big wrench in the gears. There was a lot of things going on trying to make this happen, but we set that January 1st deadline and we made it. Don't know what's out there, but I'll